and today's topic of discussion is Prader-Willi syndrome. In previous video, we discussed about Angelman's syndrome. So now we're going to talk about Prader-Willi syndrome. Guys, this video is meant for USMLE appearing students and MRCPCH or any other pediatric medical board examination appearing students. So here I'm going to discuss important points. Guys, remember in USMLE or any other medical board entrance examination, you have to diagnose this. This is based on a clinical sign and symptoms. Okay, so let's talk about the genetics, that's the etiology. Remember, as we know, the 75% of what we call Angelman's syndrome is due to the maternal deletion. Here we have a paternal deletion. Paternal deletion of 15 Q11 to Q13. Okay, whereas Angelman's syndrome is nothing but 70% is what you call a maternal deletion of 15 Q11 to Q13. And 25% what is called maternal disomy. Okay, guys. So these are the important features or you call the etiology or genetics of uh, prader willi syndrome. The prader willi syndrome in this patient will have hyperphagia or lack of satiety, decreased calorie intake uh, requirement, secondary to what you call uh, hypotonia, okay, that's nothing but a decreased movement, right? So uh, low tone in the muscle and uh, obsession or compulsion that focus on the food all contribute to the vicious cycle leading to obesity in these patients. So. Just I want to tell you that these patients uh, will have what you call obesity in common, okay? Because of what you call hyperphagia or lack of satiety, decreased calorie requirements secondary to the hypotonia, decreased movement, okay? And obsession or compulsion that focus on a food, these things contribute to the obesity in these patients, okay? So this can be asked in usually but rarely, okay guys? So let's talk about the epidemiology. It's same as Angelman syndrome, that's 1 in 20,000. Okay, guys. So what's the sign and symptoms? How the patients will present? Look, the patient will have, as we discussed before, the patient will have a hypotonia, poor feeding. Instead of poor feeding, they will have what you call obesity. Remember, this can be asked in USMLE because they will give the clinical, classical clinical history of Prader-Willi syndrome and uh, they will also give the poor feeding, but they give which of the following additional clinical sign is or a symptom is seen in this patient. Obesity is the option, remember. Okay, so the patient will have a precocious puberty. Okay, and remember micropenis, micropenis. Penis. Okay, obesity and hyperphagia, as, as I told you. Okay, and uh, sleep disturbances. Okay, and a lighter pigmentation than other family members, as we see in the Angelman syndrome. Okay, same we can see over here. And significant behavior problems like stubborn, manipulative, aggressive. Okay, and they will have this fluent speech and they have the other important obsessive and compulsive traits okay guys so now let's talk about the treatment remember for usmle and for mrcpch examination you have to diagnose this disease based on a clinical sign and symptoms and how do you treat it strict diet and behavioral interventions to prevent the obesity okay you have to prevent the obesity for giving what you call strict diet right to control behavior interventions okay and then we have growth hormone to promote stretcher because of what you call a short stretcher, you can promote the growth by giving growth hormones. Okay, and you can also what you call uh, uh, secondary sexual characters. If the patient doesn't have, you can give the hormones to produce secondary sexual characters. Okay, and then uh, that's it about these things. Just remember the controlling obesity is really very important in these patients. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, take care.